Hey, what's up guys? Stephen Cult of Mac here, back with the second episode of iSetups. And this month we've got three completely different killer setups. So let's get started. First up is a submission from David Meyer, who's also got a YouTube channel where he makes time-lapse videos as well as the odd tech specs videos. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description down below. His setup is clearly influenced by his favourite university sports team, the Texas Aggies, whose colour scheme he's managed to implement throughout his desk. His main computer is an early 2013 Retina MacBook Pro with 8GB of RAM, the 2.4GHz Core i7 processor and a 256GB SSD which he's partitioned to run Windows 10. But the less we mention about that the better. David uses his MacBook Pro for his college work and job, uh, video editing and gaming which is why he's got that Windows partition on there. It's hooked up to a 28 inch Asus BN289 monitor along with the Logitech M325 mouse and an old Radio Shack keyboard. For his speakers, he's got a set of Logitech Z340s to help improve the sound quality when playing his games and video editing. To make the transition from desktop to laptop easier, David's got a Targus 4 port USB hub for his mouse and keyboard to be connected to, so he can just unhook it and go. Other Apple gadgets include a black iPad Mini 2 and Apple Watch, which he uses to remotely control the music playing from his MacBook, and his phone of choice is a matte black 32GB iPhone 7. David's also got some awesome Apple products, such as the iPhone 2G that he rebuilt over the course of 6 hours from start to finish, as well as some Apple products that are still sealed in their packaging, such as the iPhone 3G, 3GS and 1st gen iPod Shuffle. David's obviously a huge Apple fan from his collection of products, and also his room is scattered with iPod and MacBook posters, and a really cool drawing made by the creators of the Cyanide and Happiness comic strip, with a bit of an Apple twist. There's so much to talk about with David's setup, I could do a whole video on it, but we've still got two more to go through, but great job David. Next up, which is a tough act to follow, is a setup from David Sangwell, so I'm going to let him give you his own tour. Hi guys, this is David from Bartender HQ, and I wanted to show you around my Mac setup. Uh, so, this is uh, my 27 inch uh, late 2013 iMac, next to that a 23 inch Cinema HD display, that's from 2002 and it's still going strong. Uh, in the way you can see that's my microphone that I'm using now, that is the blue snowball microphone and uh, I'm using the Apple wireless keyboard, um, I've got a 4 port uh, USB 3 anchor hub underneath there and the uh, super drive external. Then peripherals wise we're using uh, the Apple wireless keyboard, uh, we're using a RAT 3 wired mouse because uh, I couldn't use the two different buttons at the same time on the magic mouse that you get. And then we've also got the Harman Kardon sound sticks, that's the Harman Kardon 2 version to sit in there. So uh, that's pretty much my main setup. Then I've also got a bit of a collection of vintage stuff, so we've got an Indigo iMac G3, a Power Mac G3 tower, a Power Mac G4 tower in the graphite, we've got two um, Emacs an iMac G4 15 inch, a Power Mac G4 Cube, a Power Mac G5 Tower and uh, when I'm out and about I've got a uh, MacBook Air 11 inch late 2011 that I use and I've also got a Mac Mini Core 2 Duo uh, from 2009 that sits in the back room. Out and about I've got the iPhone 7 Plus in jet black and a space grey Apple Watch Series 2 and that is a lot to pack into 90 seconds. That's it from me David from Bartender HQ. Finally, we've got a setup from Nils Bertrand. I apologies if I've mispronounced your name, but he's got an awesome setup to finish this month's entries off. His main computer is a 2010 Mac Pro, which has a 2.66 GHz 6 core Intel Xeon processor, with a strong 20 gigs of RAM and 6.5 terabytes worth of internal drives. That's powering two Dell P2412H displays, as well as a 27 inch Apple Cinema display. Nils uses his setup for graphic design, music editing, as well as photo and video editing. Skilled guy. He works at a private school in the DC area as an IT and audio visual technician, where he also has to manage 850 iPads for the one-to-one -one program at the school. So it's no surprise that he's got so many skills. There's also a pair of Harman Kardon sound sticks, the standard Apple mouse and trackpad, and a lacy Porsche Design 4TB hard drive for time machine backups. For his graphic design, he's also got a Wacom Intuos 5 tablet. On top of his awesome main setup, he's also got a 12.9 inch and a 9.7 inch iPad Pro for email and photo editing on the go. Finally, he's also got an iPhone 7 Plus and Gold Apple Watch Series 2. I love his setup as there's plenty of clever little hacks such as attaching the two IKEA countertops for his desk to the wall, uh, mounting his Mac Pro underneath the table 
and the sound sticks mounted to the wall. All of which makes it easier for him to hide the wires. Uh, I also love the little figures dotted about, adding a fun element to his setup. He's also mentioned that he's going to be retiring his current Mac Pro and upgrading to a new one in June. The only thing I'd say is to try and hold off for a little bit longer, as I'm optimistic to see a new Mac Pro later this year. Well, that's it for episode 2 of iSetups. Links to all the products featured can be found in the description down below. Also, let me know in the comments section if you'd like to see this series move to every fortnight as opposed to every month, as I'm getting more and more submissions, so it could become a possibility. Also, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll catch you in the next one.